Praise the Lord, people of God. Wherever you are across this world, I greet you in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. I'm here to share a vision that I got with you as I was commanded, praise God, that this vision would reach the world. Praise the Lord. Just bow your heads with me. Great and mighty God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we pray right now that you will anoint my lips, anoint my voice, my God, that I may speak forth thy words with clarity, with power, with anointing. I pray, O oh God, that you touch the hearers this moment. As you declare, your word shall not return unto you void, but it shall accomplish that which you have sent it to. May it minister to the hearts and spirit of your people. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, as I said, wherever you are. Whatever point in time you listen to this video, I pray it will be a blessing in your life. Praise God. The Lord gave me a vision. Praise God. And it was a regular day. Praise God. In the vision, it was a normal day. Praise God. People go into school. People go into work. Praise God. People idling. Praise God. Who, you know, drinking, drinking. Who's smoking, smoking, praise God, who's, you know, just doing their daily activities, praise God. And in the vision, a regular normal day, suddenly, praise God, the earth shook, hallelujah. And when the earth shook, I felt it, praise God. And as soon as I felt the shaking of the earth, I looked up in the sky. And as I looked in the sky, I saw a bright light that outshone the sun. And the glory of the light was in a bodily form. And it just stood, praise God, in the midst of the sky. And as I began to look at it, praise God, in an instant, just instantly, the earth shook one more time. And as the earth shook, the earth became flat, like one flat surface, praise God. And I could see right around the world, praise God, because the earth became flat before my eyes. And suddenly a mountain rise up in the midst of the earth. A tall mountain just rise up. And as I begin to look upon the mountain, I saw all the people around the world, praise God, like this with their hands up, jumping and shouting. Praise God, like they're having a good time, worshiping. Praise God. And as I looked on the mountain, I was looking to see what the people were rejoicing about. What were they worshiping? What were they looking to? Praise God. And when I look on the mountain, I saw, praise God, famous celebrities in our time, praise God. I remember I saw Jay-Z, praise God. I saw... You know, Jamaican artist Cartel Movado. I saw Beyonce, praise God. And some popular stars in Hollywood. And all the people were looking up, stretching their hands, jumping, laughing. Praise God. Looking like they were worshipping, praise God. These celebrities that were on the tall mountain, praise God. As I could see around the world, as a flat surface, the mountain rose up. Praise God. And as I begin to look, these people, praise God, on top of this mountain represent, praise God, the things of the world, praise God, the things that are anti-God, the things that God hates, the things that are opposite to God's will, the pleasures of the world, praise God. I saw the people all over the world, millions, billions of people worshiping, praise God. All these idols of the world that was up on the tall mountain. Praise God. And the third time the earth shook one more time. And as the earth shook, I saw, praise God, people translating all over the world. I saw people just, just, just going up, ascending in the sky. I can't find a word, praise God, in my vocabulary right now to describe what they look like, praise God. But they were not flesh and blood. I saw people, praise God, as light, 
Praise God. They were glowing. Praise God. They were just transitioning, ascending all over the world. Praise God. I was looking around, right around the world in a circle. I saw people just going up, ascending. Praise God to him. Praise God that was already in the cloud. Praise God. I saw people just ascending all over the world. And in the vision, praise God, I was as conscious as I am today. I was a Christian in the vision, praise God. And as I saw the people ascending, praise God, all over the world, just going up, people just going up. I got excited because I started to say, that's Jesus and this is the rapture. And in the vision, I was a born again believer as I am today. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, filled with the Holy Ghost, trying my best to make it into the kingdom of God. Beloved, about three minutes passed and I saw people just ascending. And I saw that I wasn't going anywhere. I saw that I was not being translated. I was not ascending, praise God. And I began to jump. I thought to myself, let me jump, praise God. See if I can give myself some, 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 some a boost, praise God, to, 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 to ascend, to take off. But beloved, all the jump, I was jumping, nothing happened. I did not translate. I did not ascend. Praise God. And about a minute later, praise God, the rapture ended. The man that was in the sky and all those that ascended with him just vanished. And as soon as they vanished, they disappeared. A dark mist, a dark cloud started to take over the sky. And it came from the east, praise God. And as the dark cloud began to, to, to get more thicker, praise God, and enlarge itself, it covered the entire sky, became dark as midnight, darker than midnight, pitch dark. Praise God. And as I began to look in the clouds, I heard a giant step, like doom, doom. I heard some giant step coming from the east. And as I looked towards the east, beloved, I saw a dinosaur looking creature. It was a giant creature looking like a dinosaur stepping. Praise God, stepping. And coming towards the people, praise God, that were left on the earth. And all the people of the earth began to scream. They began to shout. They began to run. And the people began to echo. The beast is coming to haunt us. The beast is coming to haunt us. And everyone in the world, I mean, I saw the world was still flat. I could see people all over the world running, screaming. The beast is coming to haunt us. The beast is coming to haunt us. And I began to say to myself, the beast is coming to haunt me, but I'm baptized in Jesus' name. I repented of my sins. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I pay my tithes. I attend church service regular. I evangelize to people. I gave to the poor. I did good. What do you mean the beast is coming to haunt me? And suddenly there appeared seven persons beside me. Praise God. And I was the eighth person in the company. And as the beast began to dominate the earth, praise God, and the people, praise God, were being oppressed by this beast, this gigantic dinosaur looking beast, praise God. He began to dominate the world, praise God. And as he came, praise God, to our direction of the world where we were, praise God. At that time, I was still in Jamaica, praise God. I saw about 30 meters from me, a woman appeared, praise God. And the woman was saying something, praise God, but I could not understand what the woman was saying. And about two minutes later, the woman vanished. And as the beast began to draw closer to where we are to haunt us, I, I, I said, let me go where the woman was and let me see God and begin to talk to God. And I stepped out of the crowd of the seven guys plus me. 
And I went where I saw the woman, beloved. And while I was there, I said, God, how can you leave me? I said, God, but how the rapture came and you did not take me with you? I said, Lord, but I love you. I gave my life to you. I give my tithes in church. I'm baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. I invite people to church. I do good. I give to the poor. I help people. I said, but God, how you left me? I began to get angry with God because the beast was coming to torment us. I said, God, I don't deserve this. And I heard God spoke through the clouds in the sky. And God spoke in an unknown tongue. But I understood what he was saying in my spirit. And God said to me, if you were ready, I wouldn't have left you behind. And I said, but God, what do you mean I'm ready? God spoke to me the second time, not from the clouds now, but from within. I heard a voice within me said, search yourself and see if you find sin within you. And people of God, as I begin to look inside me, and I was searching my life, searching places, diligently searching my character, searching for things I did, unrepented sin. As I began to search my life, I found a small spot of sin within me. And my conscience convicted me that this sin, as small as it is, hindered me from going to heaven in the rapture. And when I found the sin within me, I said, God, you were right. I was not ready. I found sin in my life. And beloved, I started to say, God, but please forgive me. I acknowledge my sin. Give me a second chance, Lord God, and I will make it right for the rest of my life. Beloved, as soon as I said that, the beast drew closer and I became fearful because the whole world was screaming because the beast was dominating the earth. I went back into the company of the seven guys. And it's after the vision I understood what the seven guys mean. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs 6, verse 16, the word of God says, These six things doth the Lord God hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Number one, a proud look. Number two, a lying tongue. Number three, a hands that shed innocent blood. Number four, a heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. Number five, a feet that be swift in running to mischief. Number six, a false witness that speaketh lies. And number seven, he that soweth discord among brethren. Those seven guys that were there represent these seven sins, beloved, that will hinder us from going to the kingdom of God and entering the kingdom of God. So as I drew back where the seven guys were, because, you know, as people, when you are fearful, you feel more comfortable in a group of people. Praise God. So as I drew back, praise God, in the presence of the rest of seven guys, I saw an angel just flew in front of us. And there was eight of us, me plus the other seven guys. And the angel was just glowing. He was just so bright. And the angel pointed at me. And he spoke these words four times. The angel said, go, evangelize. Go, evangelize. Go evangelize. And when the angel said that to me, the third time I began to cry bitterly. I was weeping in the vision. And the fourth time the angel said, go evangelize. And I started to masha to rabbi. I started to cry in the vision. As the angel said, go evangelize. And when the angel uttered the fourth time, go evangelize. 
I saw a light from heaven pierce the darkness of the cloud about this wide. And it showed right in my forehead like this. And as the light shined in my forehead, the clouds began to roll away. The, the brightness of the light began to roll back the darkness of the clouds. And I began to cry when I saw the darkness rolling away. And I began to say to myself, thank you, Lord. You gave me a second chance. Thank you, Lord. You gave me a second chance. Beloved, I woke up from the vision. My head was on the pillow. And the pillow was soaking wet. With the tears I was crying in the vision. That's how real this vision was. And the angel told me four times, go evangelize. People of God, as I submit to you today, God told me that I will get the opportunity to share this vision on a worldwide platform, which is bigger than this Facebook stream. God told me this vision, I will be able to share it on national television. That the world will hear this. As I submit to us today. Many people believe we're going to miss the rapture and end up in hell for the big five sin. Adultery, fornication, stealing, murdering. When God told me to search myself and see if there is sin in me. I found a small sin. But I want us to understand there is no sin bigger than any. But in our mind, we categorize them. I want to encourage everybody that will come in contact with this video. Save your soul before it's too late. The rapture is real. The antichrist power that's coming that the devil will give his power to the beast is real. I, Odin Clark, saw it in the vision. And that power dominated the entire world. I want to encourage someone today. If you're playing around in Christendom, get yourself right with God. If you're self-conceited and think you're all perfect, Check your life again. And if you're unsaved, have not yet started your walk with God, get on this narrow pathway. God, hallelujah. As I release this word, as I release what God have placed in my spirit and the vision he gave me, people, if God touch you to share this, Share this video. Let this video reach the world. Because people need to hear that the end is coming and we need to repent. Search yourself diligently and empty yourself of all the filthiness of the flesh and spirit. I pray that somebody will be convicted to repent before it's too late. God bless you today. Pray much for me. The name is Odin. Pray much for me. God bless you. In Jesus name.